G'day everyone, Shane here from Fairmaster Australia. Direct and indirect heaters. Are you unsure about which type of heater you may need? Understanding the difference is important, so you can choose the perfect heater to best fit your needs. So, what are direct fired heaters? Direct fired heaters use fuels such as propane, natural gas or diesel to sustain open flame burning. The heat energy produced from the burning is simply blown into the surrounding air. This makes them most efficient when it comes to warming large areas in very little time. However, because combustion is open, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and moisture are vented directly into the air. These heaters are better applied to areas with good air movement like outdoor job sites, construction projects, warehouses and huge open spaces where fresh air circulation happens regularly. Their efficiency and lesser costs make them a preferred choice for varied temporary heating requirements. And then on to indirect fired heaters. Indirect fired heaters transfer heat using a heat exchanger without the combustion byproducts entering the air. Rather than releasing heated gases directly into the space, these heaters contain the combustion fumes and vent them safely outside, thus delivering clean, dry heat. Enclosed spaces like tents, industrial sites, aviation hangars and temporary buildings where air quality matters are suited to indirect heating. They also help prevent condensation, which makes them especially useful in construction projects where material may need to be dried. The key differences between direct and indirect fired heaters tend to be efficiency and heat output. Direct fired heaters are generally more fuel efficient because they release all their heat directly into the air. However, this can lead to humidity buildup and potential air contamination. In contrast, indirectly fired heaters provide clean, controlled heat, making them more suitable for long-term heating solutions and enclosed areas. Air quality and safety considerations. Since direct fired heaters release combustion byproducts into the air, they should never be used in confined spaces without proper ventilation. The emissions can cause oxygen depletion, excessive moisture buildup, and even health hazards if not properly managed. Indirect fired heaters are designed to eliminate these risks by venting exhaust gases outdoors. This makes them safer for work sites, industrial settings, and indoor environments where workers and equipment require clean, breathable air. And finally, in terms of ideal applications, direct fired heaters are commonly used for outdoor heating and well ventilated spaces, such as open construction sites, outdoor events, large warehouses with ventilation. Indirect fired heaters are more suited for indoor and enclosed environments including temporary structures and enclosed job sites, aircraft hangars and maintenance facilities, industrial manufacturing plants.